spear exhaust problem. He's leaving a trail a mile long. That's the old starwood right there. Uh, nice garbage on the side of the road. Hate to see that shit. My son's probably hating this because he's got a nice ride and he's having to poke along in the slow lane. I don't have to poke along the slow lane, but I think actually I think I'm gonna go now. Try and get a little momentum here. Which, yeah, before I started riding, I used to be one of those people that would bitch about guys, you know, zipping around on their motorcycles. And, and then I got this Vespa, and it was like, huh, I understand what them dudes are all about now, because this thing is so much fun to ride fast. I mean, it's nowhere near like fast, like a bike fast, but for me, it was fast. This thing's got some good pep. I think I'm gaining on Mr. Exhaust up here. somebody's near windshield my head. And that's another thing I do on occasion. I've noticed on some, uh, there was, man, I wish I could remember the guy's name. There's this dude on the net that uh, puts up these, it's a blog with suggestions on how to ride, I guess you'd say. One of his comments was that uh, you know, we're always getting attacked by people because they don't see us. Yeah, there's Mr. Smoker right here in front of me. It's something to do with our eye and not catching stationary objects and blah, blah, blah. And anyway, you swing back and forth in a lane, it will grab people's attention. And, uh, you know, that's what you want for someone to know that you're there when I'm running into your, your ass, you know? So, swaying back and forth kind of gives a little, man, I gotta get out from behind this guy. This is killing me. Why he's sticking in the left lane, I don't know, but we're, we're, we're getting out from behind this dude as soon as his car passes. Brand new car for them, but it it's smoking like crazy. I think they got screwed on that deal. Hope they didn't pay much for it. Oh, my son followed her. 
him. He did. He ran away for his old man. Sorry about that, son. By the way, we left Laverne a long time ago. Uh, we are now in uh, what is commonly known around here as uh, Antioch. The edge of lake area of Antioch. kind to this guy, you know, making negative comments. Damn, I'm hitting all these lights. He's sorry. I know you guys are going to uh, ride me on how I'm riding, probably. I hope not, but if you got some pointers, I'm up to hear them. I sure as hell don't know everything there is to know about riding bikes. All I know is that I love to ride. Not enough to freeze my ass off, but uh, I do love riding. Friday afternoon traffic. Everybody coming home. Oh, man. I'm going this direction. By the time we get going back the other way, all these folks will be home and it won't be a problem. We'll stay up here so it changes in the underneath. In case you're wondering, um, I'm not originally from Tennessee. I don't think I have a Tennessee accent, although I'm not sure why not, because I've been living here damn near my whole life. I'm a Yankee, transplanted Yankee, was born in Connecticut. That was a bit odd. I was born in Connecticut and um, lived there all of six months. My dad got transferred to Florida, I lived in Florida for, I don't tell us about six. Uh, moved out of Florida in the first grade. Dad got transferred to Nashville. And I've been living in Tennessee ever since. Lived in, uh, different parts, not too many. Um, mostly middle and western Tennessee. Never lived in East Tennessee. Which sure is pretty out there. Right? And I wish I had a thermometer on the best, but that would be sweet so I know how cold it is because I know the temperatures drop at least 15 degrees or more. And I've still got a good shit. You know, half an hour, 20 minutes before I get to run off. So the sun's going to be completely down by the time I get there, that's for sure. I'm doing it again. Damn it, I keep riding too damn close. We're approaching the uh, airport. 
Nashville International Airport. So we're on our right side. After we pass the next telephone, the next telephone line. Yeah, traffic light. That's it there. We're actually going to be going underneath one of the runways here in a second. Should have put my leather gloves on over these uh, these gloves I'm wearing here. Picked these up from uh, Academy Sports. They're good for warm weather. Not so good for cold weather, uh, at least in the wind. But they're they also double as uh, glove liners. And I've got my gloves, but they're in my seat. Not too bright on my part, I know. Oh well. Here's uh, Dell Computers, one of their, I guess, distribution centers. I'm not sure what they do there. I know they got a call center there. I'm not sure if that's, looks like they do more than just call center though. Had a buddy of mine that worked there for a while. See my son's HIDs and my mirrors there. Looking good, son. He, by the way, is also uh, taping me with his GoPro camera that he purchased. See what my horn sounds like here. Can you hear that? It's a little wing horn. Maybe get a more masculine horn. masculine scooter. Oh wow, they told they finally tore the building down. That's the old Sayers building. That thing was there for years and years and years. After Zayers went out of business, wondered when they were going to destroy that thing. They finally, broke down and did it. The ride that in this road, man, <laughs> been living here most of my life. I couldn't tell you what the hell the highway number is of this. I think it's. No, I'm not even going to guess. I go by street names, not highway names, but this is uh, Murfreesboro Road, commonly known around here because it goes from Nashville to the great city of Murfreesboro, which is further south from where I live. And I haven't been used to this problem here lately. The lens fogging up. There we go. I don't have to worry about it. This will take us all the way into downtown Nashville. I used to live in that neighborhood there to the right years and years ago. Two of our kids. I have four. They're so little they don't remember it, I'm sure. Well, Ian does.
got three other kids. Uh, got Ian, that's here behind me. And then I've got uh, Aaron, who's the next oldest. And then Ryan, his actual name is Stephen Ryan. But, uh, so, Stephen. He's Stephen, he went with Ryan. Just spelled differently. I didn't want a junior. Nothing against juniors, I just didn't want them. So. Ian's got my middle name. Ryan's got my first name. Aaron's got my ex-wife's maiden name. His middle name, that is. And then there's my daughter, Allison, whose first name is Mary, who is named after my mom. So there you have it. My kids age ages range from uh, 25, 24, and 20 and 17. So, well, it's just, well, she used to live down there. And when I first moved to Nashville, I lived off this, this street here, uh, Thompson Place, to the right, in an apartment complex up there. It's still there. That was in the 60s. brewing here. Got a ride in those parts, huh? 